Welcome to this episode of Drop Gear. I'm afraid Andy Norris isn't here today. My name's George MacArthur. But any Andy Norris fans out there, he will be back very soon. So don't worry about that. This week, we are testing some Streamlight torches, particularly the Stinger Rain. In the video, we're gonna test three points. We're gonna first test the pressure. The second test is gonna be testing water resistance. And then the final, for the finale, we are gonna do an impact test. Yeah, it's going to be a fun video, something a bit different for the Viking channel. Yeah, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of Drop Gear. Here we are, next to the car. We're going to test the pressure of this stinger. We're just going to run it over on concrete. It's made from an unscratchable and unbreakable polycarbonate lens. Yeah, let's give it a go. Well, that's slightly disappointing. That's basically nothing. Wow. So for the second test of the video, we've come down to the local river near Viking HQ, and we're gonna test the weather resistance of the light. It's rated IPX4, which means it can withstand splashes from all directions. We're gonna take it a step further. We're gonna plonk it in the river for 30 minutes. We're gonna check it at 15 minutes first, see if it works, keep it in for 30. Yeah, let's check it out. So we're at the 15 minute mark. We're just gonna check it. I'd say that is still definitely working. It's very cold. Yeah, it turns on and off. There's the strobe mode. Strobe mode there. Yeah, let's pop it back in for another 15 minutes. Let's reverse 30 minutes. Let's go and check it out. And as you can see, you can quite happily say it's blown itself out of the water. Streamlight can up their weather rating as it survived 30 minutes with no problems whatsoever. As you can see, it still works. Now we're going to go up to the local fire station for the impact test. Streamlight has stated that it can withstand one meter, but we're going to times that by 15 and see how it goes. Yeah! So here you can see we've tried to keep this a continuous shot, you know, to show how realistic we are here at Drop Gear. And as you can see, the light still works. This is about a 14, 50 meter height. Pretty impressive stuff. So there you have it. That is all the tests done. The Singer range has done better than Streamlight even sets, so better and more basically. The polycarbonate lenses are still completely intact. I'd say that's more than a success. I think Streamlight's outdone themselves with the Stinger, so they can probably rate them a bit better than they do. So credits where credit's due. Where can you find one of these? www.streamlightpro.com. Just keep it rolling. We also, we also have a competition on our Facebook where you can win one of these Enduro Pros. As soon as we reach 500 followers on our Facebook, we are going to be giving this away to one of our followers. So that's it for this episode of Drop Gear. I hope you have enjoyed it. Make sure to like, follow, subscribe, do all you need to do. Hit the bell notification if you're on YouTube. And yeah, see you next episode. <laughs>